Okay, you're in. Hi, this is Diane McAdams, the chair of the Fair Rent Committee. I call the meeting to order at, what time is it? 5.35. Um, can I get a, a motion to approve the minutes? I so moved. I'll second. Um, is there any discussion regarding the minutes? No, oh, I read Everybody's them. Okay, everybody's in agreement. Okay. All right. Um, all in favor of approving the minutes? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Uh, hearing none, the minutes stand as read. Um, okay. We are here um, from our meeting last week and um, to see how things are going. So I will uh, turn it over to Bonnie. Yeah, I just wanted to give everyone a, an update. Noreen signed the lease, so that's all set. Um, Lyanne, she, um, I think, rectified everything yesterday with language, so she's all set. And um, Janice, I think, and her husband are still working with Brett um, to try to get language issues down. Um, but, you know, I will tell you, I saw Diane today, I told her, part of the issue is the communication was horrendous between Brett and the three people. Um, so I ended up being the go-between, which really shouldn't happen. So mm -hmm. I did finally send an email to, to Brett just saying, you know, you're the one who's got to communicate here. So uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, did he, was he the one that said that the leases had been signed or am I mistaken? No, um, I think he said that one might have, but two have been. Yeah. Oh. And then the outstanding one, as far as I know, is from uh, Janice. Right. So I don't know if anybody has questions of me or of Janice or. Yeah, Janice, can you give us, um just an update on how things have gone the last week? Yes, I sure can. Um, like Bonnie said, once we left the meeting, as Brett stated, he would send us the, his cell number to communicate. That never happened. So yes, Bonnie became the mediator between us in terms of sending messages and trying to get answers through um, Brett which in turn, we, my husband and I talked to Ilona, who is the representative on the premises in reference to the questions we had for him. Um, per Brett, he stated that we would get an addendum by um, when her and him meet in the office, which that came to us Tuesday morning. Um, we, my husband and I looked it over and we had the questions in terms to what the addendum said that um, as long as the lease was zero balance and those certain criteria were met, that we wouldn't have to pay the departure fee. And we questioned that because we were told, at least I was told that we didn't have a good payment record, which uh, we tried to provide that information to Alona, who had questioned the check number, which I provided to her, which was for April, but they needed also March. And I said to them that the payment was already made to the previous owners before they acquire the, the, um, the, the, the building. So I didn't understand why we had to prove that to them when they stated everything was transferred over. So as of right now, um, Bonnie had asked me at last night to send payment, um, proof of payment to him, which I didn't have an email for him because he never contacted us. My husband and I stayed up to like 12 o'clock, one o'clock last night, trying to find an email in anything that we had, which we were able to, and that bounced back to us. So we went back and we found one under his name, um, which wasn't even for Empire. I think it was for a personal email. And we sent it out to him questioning the things that we wanted answer. And he, I guess I saw an email trail bounce back today around after three. 
stating that um, my husband and him had a conversation and um, uh, he was on the, on the other side pretty much pleased with what was said. He was able to answer the questions. I spoke to my husband before I came, before we got on, and he said pretty much the things that we question that they will be addressed, which is um, the deposit on the lease, the new proposed lease at zero. Um, we wouldn't have, well, we questioned if we would have a zero balance if they didn't acquire that March payment, proof of that March payment, which I emailed all three payments to Bonnie last night as we were up. And also, um, you know, the question of any damages or anything to the apartment, which there's none. We're, we're not like that. So that's where we're at. So I said I will, you know, conclude the meeting to let everyone know where we stand because then the amount that he said we could, um, that we can all utilize, which is the 2200 we agree, okay, we'll work with that, but we just felt uncomfortable knowing that if we still have a zero balance under Empire, would that damage, you know, would that um, give us, not give us the opportunity to get back any deposit or would that, or will we have to pay that $500 fee? So that was the language that we were questioning. We just needed clarity to that before signing anything, so that's where we're at and that's what we'll have to decide with Brad. So your intent is to sign the lease for 2,200? Correct. Okay. So you don't know what the status of the $500 is? We don't until he said he get proof of the, um, March. the payment, March payment from the previous owners, which what I said to, sent to him was basically the because um, I did it through my bank institution was basically the process payment that we receive on our end. So he said, according to Bonnie, um, he said that he was in contact with the previous owners. So if he is, they should be able to give him anything else that was <laughs> processed. Well, let's put it this way. Um, Jana sent it to me. They've all cleared. So somebody's mm -hmm. got them. So what's the holdup? We don't know. <laughs> That's what we're saying. I don't know. The money is gone. Honey, do you think we'll have some resolution in the next week? Should we just give it another week anyway, assuming the miscommunication is getting better, especially because you have confirmation that the payments have been made? Um, that's up to all of you. If you want to do that, then I can try to arrange something with everybody's schedule next week. My last day is for a week from Friday. so. Janice, are you and, Unless it's settled by, if it's settled by then, then we can be notified. Yeah, we, you wouldn't have to meet, right. Yeah. Right, right, right. right. It sounds like you've given a good faith effort. Janice, there's nothing else you could do, but wait. Yeah. That's all I can do. I mean, we try. <laughs> we try. We, yeah. I, I even sent an uh, inquiry to the bank to question, you know, where the payment went. And when I sent Bonnie, she see for herself that they're all clear. Okay, well, it doesn't, doesn't seem like there's anything we can do mm -mm. today. All right, no. well then, um, why don't we give it another week? I'll, I'll let Brett know how this ended. And then uh, I'll check with all of you for scheduling and we'll try it again. And if Janice emails me and tells me all is well in the world, then Good. it's been great working with you guys. <laughs> all right, it's been great having you. Yeah. You too, okay. you all too. Good. Janice, good well, luck. You good know luck, yeah. Yeah, good luck, Thank Janice. You. Bring it together. Thank you, guys. I appreciate all your help. Thank you. All right, um, Madam um, Chair, yeah. I need a motion to adjourn. Okay, I make a motion to adjourn this meeting. So moved. I'll uh, second. Well, Lind Lindsay, you can second. I'll second. All right. All right, all in favor. Bye. Bye. All right, y'all. Bye. Nice Bye. Good luck. Bye, guys. Take out. care. Yep. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Good, Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks. All right. And, and.